inside the Gramercy Theater. I'm here with Mr. Tony Campos from every single band out there, starting with Static X, Prong, Ministry, and most importantly today with SoFi. How are you, Tony? Yeah, doing good. You know, depending on what day of the week it is, you know, I can be in any of those bands. You know, possessed. I forgot possessed. Yeah, possessed. Assassino. <laughs> Uh, this new band out of L.A., uh, Attica 7, just finished a record with them, so, you know, yeah, depends on what day of the week it is. Do you ever sleep? Yeah, I do. Uh, not a whole lot, but I do get some sleep. I mean, you can tell I see the dark circles on my eyes, you know? But, uh, Never forget, the first time we spoke was at the Golden Guys last year, and the thing that really, really sticks to my mind is how you were saying, like, you know what? Why would I even stop when I don't consider this a job? I consider myself a lucky man because I do this for a living, and I like that. It is like... Yeah, absolutely. Like, you know, it's like, I, I'm, right now I'm, I'm, I'm playing. I haven't, had a, I haven't had a real job in uh, 13 years, so, you know, why, you know, if I can keep doing it, why not, you know? Hey. How does it feel to be part of the Soulfly tribe? First of all, obviously the album Slaved came out brutal. So tell us about the whole experience of joining the band and being obviously on stage with one of our Latino brothers, big time Latino brother, Max Cavalera. Yeah, man, you know, it's, it's great. Um, you know, I, I, get, I get to play, you know, with one of my heroes. You know, I get, I get to play, you know, some of my favorite songs. You know, I get to play with some really good musicians. Mark Rizzo, the amazing guitar player. David Kincaid, brutal fucking drummer, you know. Uh, it, it, it's, it's great, man. I'm having a blast doing, doing this gig, you know. So, um, and, you know, the, the experience making the record with, uh, with Zeus, great producer, man. It, did a awesome job on the record, and you know I, I'm, I'm I'm in a good place right now, you know. Since you mentioned, which are your favorite songs to play on stage from the Soulfly catalog? Uh, from the Soulfly catalog, I, uh, I always like playing uh, Pojada. Uh, there's um, Eye for an Eye is always good. Um, yeah, you know, and then of course you know the uh, you know the the Sepultura classics, you know, you know Roots and. Uh, you know, Attitude, uh, Troops of Doom, yeah, those are always fun, you know? And you did a duet with Max, him singing in Portuguese, you singing in Spanish called Plata y Plomo. Tell us a bit about how the whole vibe is about that song. Yeah, well, you know, that was his idea, because uh, he was reading this book about Pablo Escobar uh, that was written by his brother. And, uh, you know, so he, he told me the idea, he's like, hey man, uh, you want to do this song about, this is my best Max impersonation, uh, hey, you want to do this song, uh, uh, about Pablo Escobar, uh, I sing in Portuguese and you sing in Mexican. I'm like, yeah, all right, cool. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Tony, uh, we were just talking before, you recorded a few tracks for the new Ministry album, which is killer. You recorded the new prong, Carving the Stone, yeah. and both records, I mean, are so different. So how do you go from, like, let's say, the Soul Flight mindset musically to the other bands? You know what I'm saying? Because all the bands have very different musical soundscapes. Yeah, you know, um, it, it's just... Yeah, you, know, you, you you just go in, and, um, like you you go in and, and, and you just concentrate on on you know the, the the session at hand, you know, and you know of course you're gonna draw a little from your your previous experiences. Yeah.